Hey guys, just out at Dad's, going to reset the trail cameras. Brought everything home last week and uh, cleaned them up, dried them out, changed all the batteries. Got some good stuff in there on the last few videos, some deer, moose, bear. So I'm going to uh, head back into the trail system that we've cut here, spread them out and leave them for another month. I guess we'll go down this trail system first. Put a couple of trail cameras down here. At the bottom, that's a great big hardwood hill that goes up there. This trail here seems to be pretty productive so far, so we'll use it. What are you sniffing, buddy? Hey, do you smell something? <laughs> Apparently my dad's starting a garbage pile out here. We got salt, corn, apple cores. Is that a cucumber? Yeah. We're gonna actually uh, put out some grain feeders, corn feeders. I think dad's just throwing this salt and whatever here for now just to see what we can get on trail camera. I can smell the corn from here. Yuck. Thunder rolling over the mountain. Gonna get wet, I think. Trail ends just down here. So I'll set up a camera somewhere in this clearing, I guess. All right, so we got one right there at the end of the system. Starting to rain. Bugs are bad, let's get out of here, eh Gage? We got one more to set up. I'm gonna climb the, the hill and put one up in the hardwood at the top of the hill. Here comes the rain. You guys mentioned before that Gage didn't seem to want to go too far from me on these trails. Well, you're right, he's right here. He's actually following me this time. Usually he's out in front a hundred yards. Oh, downpour. Yeah, that's getting to me even under these big spruce here. It's wet.
I see signs on a tree right here in front of me. Bull moose. See that scrape right there? Bull moose. That's up there, eight and a half feet. There's the other trail camera down there. This is a pretty productive stretch of trail right here. You're gonna pass some time chewing on that stick, buddy? You allergic to spruce? Okay, it's really coming down now. 10 minutes and it hasn't stopped. Gage has almost done his snack. I think we're gonna have to just make a break for it. This tree's not doing a whole lot. Yeah, all right, I'm making a break for it, guys. It's wet. Change of plans, we're gonna put the third one right here at the beginning of that bottom hill trail. I'm not gonna climb that today, it's just too wet. Here's where the trail actually splits and goes up. And in the previous month, I really didn't get a lot of activity up there on top of the hill anyway. So there's the trail we have cut that goes up. Up the mountain here. I think the animals are crossing right here and going through, crossing the creek and over to the next property up in there. All right guys, out of the woods for now. I think we're just gonna get in the truck and just drive the back 1,000. Right, there's, well, there's 100,000 acres back there, empty land. Let's go for a drive and see if we can find any wildlife. We have just as much chance here traveling these back logging roads of finding something as at any other time. So I don't mind spending a couple hours just back here exploring. And hey, any wildlife shots I get, that'll just be a bonus, right? Getting even darker now. impenetrable down there it's thick I guess they're still working up in here so we're gonna turn around Head back even further. Yeah, you don't want to be running into where they're dropping trees, that's for sure. So we're going to go a different uh, road here, I think. 
that road we were on goes up in behind my dad's so that's why I wanted to go this way probably would have been probably seven eight kilometers back behind my dad's if we had managed to get to the end of this road but we'll have to choose a different route I'm hoping these uh, rain clouds subside and Gage and I can get out and go for a walk somewhere way back here in the woods. That's the plan anyway. Any one of a thousand old logging roads like that that they're not using right now, you never know when you're going to see something cross one of those. Road's getting bad enough now that I've actually put the truck in four-wheel drive. Lots of big loose stones. Rain is actually getting worse. Sometimes I feel it's futile to do this, but you know, if this creature is real, Sooner or later, we're going to catch one running across the road or across the swamp. And from zero to hero, that'll be my story. Which kind of brings up the point, what is Gary going to do if he actually finds one of these things? Well, we're going to quit. <laughs> the question will be answered, are they real or not? That's all I want to know. So honestly, if we find one, why would I continue looking for them, right? I, I would love to get some video, photographic, whatever proof, run one over in the Dodge someday, 
Not on purpose, but if it happens, it happens. I'm dragging that sucker home with me. Uh, yeah, and then, the, you know what? We move on to something else. That's what's gonna happen. There are a hundred other channels out there who would milk that for every penny it was worth. Oh, I'm habituating them now. Not this guy. <laughs> At this point, I, I highly doubt they exist. But if I am proven wrong, and which I would love to be, let's get some evidence. That's it, that's all I want out of that. We did it, we set out to do our job, you know? Well, it's getting much worse. The roads are getting really slippery and muddy. So I'm gonna look for the next turnaround spot and we're gonna head back out of this road anyway. If I could find one in a little better shape, we'll keep going. But I don't need to get stuck or go off the trail back here. Actually, nobody knows where I am right now, which is a good point as well. We just kind of randomly picked a spot and started going. I think I can turn around right here. Yeah, we're gonna turn around right here. It's gonna be a 90 point turn, but I'm gonna turn around. I feel like Austin Powers here. But I think we got it. Hey, there we go. <laughs> Back on the road. There are just hills and storm out there as far as I can see, guys. As you can see, it's starting to run down the road pretty good, so, you know, it's a good time to get out while you can. You never know when part of a road system's gonna wash away. And uh, we don't wanna get stuck back here. Like I said, nobody knows where we are right now. So we're gonna take this opportunity to get back out to the main road and that'll be it for today. All right, not out to the main road, but we're out to a much better road, so that's a good thing. There's so much land back here to explore, guys. You, you could have a hundred guys like me back here researching, and we wouldn't be able to cover it all. There is that much ground back here. But all the sane people of the world know that Bigfoot doesn't exist, and I therefore have it all to myself. Well, we shall prove them wrong. or reach our 200th episode and call it quits. One of the two. But the 200th episode's gonna be a good one. I'm hoping, I'm hoping that's the one where Gary faces his fears. No promises. I'm working up to it. I'm working on it, guys. Stay tuned.